you. Hi. Uh, you've had um, kind of mixed results uh, throughout your USC career. Uh, first, the amazing fight with Mike Davis, the no contest, and then finally uh, your first Octagon win. Just tell me what your thoughts are on the way your USC career has played out so far. Well, call it an egg and egg. Um, I've had terrible fights so far. My Mike Davis fight, fight of the night, good performance. But I was off the pace. Um, I made mistakes leading up to it in my preparation, different things. Um, I lost a decision that was very close. I know I had a lot of people saying that it could have gone either way, different things, but I lost. Um, my second fight against Alan, uh, against Alan Patrick, um, obviously I batted him for the two, the one and a half rounds it was. Um, that guy, this is just not talk about him, but um, yeah. That was another one. It should have been a win. Um, and then my third fight, um, I can't, uh, let's just say uh, it, I was struggling with a lot of things in that fight. Um, it was one of them things where I got the fight done and I got through it. And then um, I've been recovering off it since. Um, so I'm back. I'm healthy. I'm fit. And I feel dangerous. And uh, finally overcome my teething problems. And uh, I'm going to settle in. And uh, yeah, it's a good, good place to do it. Um, we're in London, which is something I've wanted to do for a long time. Um, I'm fighting in front of a crowd. Um, there's a few people coming from home, and I know I got the local support behind me. I got a tough opponent, and uh, yeah, we're the prelim um, top of the prelims. So it's a perfect time to shine, perfect time to uh, to make that statement and show people exactly who I am. I know you just said let's not talk about it when it comes to Alan Patrick, uh, but are you past that? I know you wanted to like run it back with him, but are you past that fight? Is it behind you now? If he's not being cut yet, then I'll run it back with him tomorrow. Um, I'll run him back the day after I fight this guy. Um, I, I honestly, I'm happy to put that guy and retire him any time that the USC wants to make that fight. But um, after his last performance, um, the way he pulled out on my fight and then the fight against me, I, I can't see how the USC still signed him. Um, if he hasn't been cut yet, then I'll happily be his last fight in the UFC. And you get Ludovic Klein, late addition to the card. How long have you known about this fight? Thursday. Oh, wow. Yeah, so I think the, most of the media actually knew before I, I did. Um, they, my manager messaged me while I was on the plane, so a little bit spotty. And he was like, oh, duh, 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 they found a guy. And I was like, mint. He was like, I'll send you the footage. I was like, oh, yeah, well, um, I was like, I'm going to say yes. He's like, you you're saying yes anyway. He's like, we're on. I was like, yeah, we've been waiting long enough. So um, I know I was looking at the UFC card for London, um, God, 15, 14 weeks ago. Um, I knew that I had a place in the card for like 13 weeks out. And they've just, they had so many problems <laughs> matching me for different things. Um, tax purposes, a lot of the UFC, the, U, the US fighters and different things. And we stuck the course. I pushed through a solid training camp and uh, yeah, we got rewarded. Uh, you said you had to kind of look at uh, footage. How familiar were you with Ludovic? Uh, I never looked at him before, but um, his style fits mine. Um, I've been training with Southpaws mainly out in Team Alpha Male. Um, my training partner f literally fights Friday before me, and this on the Saturday. Um, so I'm prepared. Um, I feel dangerous. I train my high level strikers every day, I train my high level wrestlers every day. Um, I'm, I'm more than prepared for this fight. Um, Ludovic's style is very good, but um, I just think there's ways to counter what he does. And as long as I'm smart with it, I'm mobile on my feet and I don't get into a stupid fight, which I, that's the thing with me. I do love to get into a bloodbath. So um, we'll see how it goes. I'm hoping uh, to come out this fight without any new, new scars, but um, it's going to be a fun one. Thank you. Mason. Hi, I know you said it was a, a short notice call, but was the plan for you always to be on this card or is this... 13 weeks. 13 weeks I pushed this card. Um, to be fair, the last... <laughs> the last two weeks, we're starting to get a little bit stressed because I bought 50 tickets for people back home and uh, my family, different things. Like it had already been gone through because my medicals were all done for this card and everything was re ready. And obviously, we were preparing for this. All the way through, my cut had been for this. The PI had been helping me for my weight cut for the last nine weeks. And um, all in regards to London. So it was starting to get a little bit spotty. But um, I held the course, stayed patient. And uh, yeah, like I said, it all panned out. Okay, so it's a short notice opponent, but not a short notice fight. That's just no, to make that clear. No, 100%. Yeah. yeah, short notice opponent, but I'm full camp. Full camp. No excuses. Perfect. And uh, going back to the previous fight against David Anama, who has gone on and had a couple of big wins since. Massive um, wins. Break down the challenges that you were having in that fight, um, if you can, for us, um, and explain how you're you're sort of free of that going into this one. So, um, I was meant to fight 
um, against Alan Patrick. Um, we was looking at an earlier date. I did eight weeks. I did eight or nine weeks of camp. Then they pushed the fight back by ten weeks. So I ended up doing nineteen weeks of camp. Um, on top of the fact I'd rolled through from the first fight against Alan. Um, it was just literally that I had problems. Um, I had injuries moving into it. Um, injuries that sort of happened in the fight as well. Um, I had the flu um, and I also had a problem with my sternum where my rib was literally moving all the time. So um, I went in that fight um, against a high level striker, high level guy and um, was good for about six shots. I think I landed six clean shots on him and then uh, literally gassed in a way I've never gassed before um, and dug deep, fought in the trenches, dragged him down, made the fight dirty and uh, I won. Um, it was a boring fight for the two of us, I think. It's not a fight I usually like to fight. I like the high pace. I like the high exciting. And it was it was decent, but I mainly just out-wrestled the guy, um, controlled him, worked towards a finish, but he was strong and I was in a bad place. But um, we all recovered from that. Um, I had a bit of surgery over December, got um, some problems sorted that had been uh, niggling up me, been had a lot of physio and um, my camp's been solid, very, very solid. Um, I think this is one of the best I've I've ever felt. So uh, yeah, I really, really can't wait. So given that we're three fights in now, you sort of teething problems, teething problems. Yeah, I um I I need to make a statement. Like um I come in Abu Dhabi with a champ champ status hanging on my back, a bit of momentum, um and then I stalled and then uh, I went into the Alan Patrick fight with a bit of momentum that was still hanging around and then Alan robbed me of that and then uh, obviously I went in the Ona Onama fight with no momentum and sort of started to generate a little bit so now this is the perfect place the perfect time the perfect part of the card to make a statement this is where I can start building my legacy again and this is where I can start telling people who I am and uh, yeah we can start rolling with it you mentioned that you've got this tendency to get involved in a in a bloodbath or two is that something that you're trying to sort of back back away no. from and be more considered, or you embracing that? No, I, I I I love a stand up war. Um, I I land a fight. I I love a fight. Um, I don't go in there with the intentions of just doing the minimum. Um, I like to go in there and I I, I like to get into a fight. Like obviously looking at Ludwig's uh, record, people will be like, oh you're going to go in, take him down, try and sub him. I'm just like, well, no, I'm going to go in there. I'm going to bang with him for a little bit. We're going to play it out. And if I need to, I'll take him down and sub him. I'm not worried. Um, I think I can outstrike him. I think um, uh, my striking is better. I think my game plan is better. I think I'm better at wrestling. I think my jiu-jitsu is better. Like people forget, I, I've been doing kickboxing since I was six. Um, I've been doing jiu-jitsu since I was 12. I've been doing judo since I was 11. Um, I've been boxing at a high level since I was 16, 17. I've been doing Thai since I was 14. Like I'm 27. It's It's been a career. Um, November will be 20 years I've been involved in fighting sports. I've done a lifetime and uh, I'm still fresh. I'm still healthy. And I, all that's left to do, like I said, is to start improving and keep improving. Like I'm, I'm the great, I'm the well, the greatest fighter on this planet in in my own head. All I've got to do is I've got to set the record and I've got to start proving that I am. And every single fight I get better, every single fight I improve, and uh, every single fight I'm going to put away better and better people. Last one from me. You mentioned all of that experience that you've picked up from a from an early age. What's your most likely method of victory on Saturday night? Oh, um, oh. I, I want a knockout. I want a picturesque knockout like same as everyone does. But um, he's tough. Ludwig's been in the wars. Um, he's a high-level striker. He's powerful. And he's got some nasty head kicks. Um, I'm going to strike with him. I am. I, I'm, I'm going to try and pick him apart on his feet. So um, let's, let's go with the TKO. Brilliant. Thanks a lot. Thank you very much.